In this video, let us solve uh, more problems based on basic proportionality theorem and its converse. We are not only going to use the concept of basic proportionality theorem in this uh, problems solved in this video, but we are also going to use the converse of basic proportionality theorem. So here we've got the question, which reads like this. D and E are respectively the points. D and E are respectively the points on the sides AB and AC of a triangle ABC such that AB equals 5.6 centimeters, AD equals 1.4 centimeters, AC equals 7.2 centimeters, and AE equals 1.8 centimeters. What we need to do is we need to show that D is parallel to BC. Before I begin to solve this problem, let me brief you about how, how do we go about solving this problem. Now, we know that the basic proportionality theorem, the problems we were solving till now, dealt with problems like now, you know, the data would be like DE is parallel to BC and, you know, we may have to find that, you know, we may have to find the value of AD, the length of AD or AE or something. But in this case, we've got the lengths of AD, AB, AE and EC. So we need to show that DE is parallel to BC. So what is happening here is we're basically looking at the converse of the basic proportionality theorem. The non-converse or the usual basic proportionality theorem, what it said was, it said that if a line is parallel to a side of a triangle, then the other two sides will be divided by that line, you know, in equal ratios. So here, since now we've got the lengths of all the sides, that is AD, AE and AC, we just have to prove that AD by db equals ae by ec that's the ratio that we are looking at so that is what we need to be equal to prove that de is parallel to bc so let's start solving that so we've got ab which is equal to 5.6 centimeters we've got ad which is equal to 1.4 now we need db right so db is nothing but subtracting ad from ab so we just have to subtract this we get db so AD minus AB gives you DB. That is nothing but 5.6 minus 1.4 is 4.2 centimeters. So we've got DB as 4.2 centimeters. We've also got AC, which is equal to 7.2 centimeters. And we've also got AE, which is equal to 1.8 centimeters. So subtracting AE from AC, we get EC, right? So we get EC, which is equal to 5.4 centimeters. 7.2 minus 1.8 is 5.4 centimeters. So we've got all the data now. We just have to prove that AD by DB equals AE by AC. So let's do that. We have AD by DB. So let's replace the AD and DB by the values. So AD is 1.4 and we've got DB as 4.2. Now, 1.4 goes 3 times in 4.2. So, we've got a ratio of 1 by 3. AD by DB is 1 by 3. So, now we need the ratio AE by EC. So, we've got AE as 1.8 and we've got EC as 5.4. And guess what? 1.8 also goes 3 times in 5.4 and therefore, we've got the ratio 1 by 3. So, now we've arrived at this. That is AD by DB the ratio of AD by DB, which is equal to 1.3, is also equal to AE by EC because that ratio is also equal to 1.3. Now, since these ratios, that is AD by DB equals AE by EC, we can definitely say by the converse of basic proportionality theorem that DE is indeed parallel to BC. So, hence, we've showed that DE is parallel to BC. The problem as such was pretty simple. We just have to kind of brush up the concept of basic proportionality theorem and its converse. So let's quickly solve another problem based on the converse of basic proportionality theorem. So here we've got another question which reads like this. In a triangle ABC, D and E are the points on sides AB and AC respectively such that BD equals CE. We've got BD equals C given in the question itself. So that's the given data. So now if angle B equals angle C, show that DE is parallel to BC. Well, another converse of basic proportionality theorem concept. So let's see how do we go about solving this problem. Now in triangle ABC, the given data is that angle B equals angle C. 
So now if angle B equals angle C, the sides opposite to equal angles are equal, right? So that's what uh, is the concept of isosceles triangle. So therefore, we've got the side opposite to angle B is AC and the side opposite to angle C is AB. So we've got AC equal to AB. This is because sides opposite to equal angles are equal. So that's what we've arrived at. So now AC equals AB. Now let's write AC as AE plus EC and let's write AB as AD plus DB. Right? So that's what we're doing. So it is also very clearly mentioned that BD equal to CE. So we've got AE plus EC, AD plus, instead of writing BD or DB, let's write it as CE. So now CE and EC are the same. So let me write it as CE itself. AE plus CE equals AD plus CE. So CE, CE gets cancelled. So we've got AE equals AD. So it's clearly proved that AE equals AD. So now, as a result of this, we can establish that AD equals AE and also BD equals C. That is already given in the question. So now, can't we write, therefore, because of this, it is AD by BD equals AD equals AE and BD equals CE. If this is established, then what, what it says is, it says that DE has divided the sides AB and AC in equal ratios, that is AD by DB equals AE by C. So the converse of basic proportionality theorem is that if DE has divided the other two sides, the two sides of a triangle, that is AB and AC in equal ratios, then it, it is definitely parallel to BC. So therefore, we've got DE parallel to BC and this is by converse of basic proportionality theorem. So that's all. This ends the this problem. This ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems.